So let's look at the following example that deals with electric potential and electric potential difference. So let's suppose an electron is placed 50 centimeters from a stationary negative point charge given by capital Q. Now the quantity of Q is equal to negative 2.0 times 10 to the negative 10 coulombs. So we want to calculate the velocity that the electron will reach when it's very far away from that stationary point charge. Let's assume the quantity of charge on our electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and the mass of our electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms which is given by the following two quantities. So, before we begin, let's look at our setup. So, we have our stationary charge given by capital Q, and we take one electron, we place that one electron 50 centimeters from our point charge. Now, when we release this electron, the electron begins to travel as a result of the force that it feels by this stationary point charge. Now, this electron will travel in the positive direction along the x-axis and this charge will remain stationary. So eventually, at some very far away distance, our electron will reach a maximum velocity. So let's suppose when the electron is infinitely far away, we'd like to calculate what our velocity of that electron is. So how exactly are we going to approach this problem? Well, let's look at the following paragraph. This will describe our approach to solving this example and calculating the velocity. So initially, we'd like to calculate what the voltage is at the point 50 centimeters as a result of the charge Q, as a result of this stationary point charge. So when we calculate that electric potential at that point, we're assuming that the voltage at a distance infinitely far away is zero. Now with that assumption, we can calculate the voltage and then we can use the voltage to calculate the work that is done on the electron to move it an infinite distance away as a result of this stationary point charge. Now, after we calculate how much work is done on our electron by the electric field as a result of this stationary point charge, we can then equate that to the kinetic energy and solve for our velocity. So since work done is equal to the kinetic energy gained by the electron, we can find the velocity. So, let's begin with step one. We want to calculate what the voltage is at this point 50 centimeters away from the stationary point charge. So we are assuming the voltage at a distance infinitely far away is zero. So we can apply this equation that we spoke about in the previous lecture. So the voltage is equal to the charge Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by R, which is the distance between this charge that creates the voltage and this point. So our R is simply 0.5 meters. So our epsilon naught is a constant. It's 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 coulomb squared divided by newtons multiplied by meters squared. So our top is simply our charge, which is given to be negative 2 times 10 to the negative 10 coulombs. So we plug in our values and we solve and we find approximately negative 3.6 volts. So the reason that this is a negative value is because this has a negative charge. So this is the electric potential at 50 centimeters mark as a result of the stationary point charge given by capital Q. Now as a result of this electric potential, our electron which also has a negative charge will begin to move. In other words, the electric field produced by this stationary point charge will create a force that will propel this electron in the positive direction along the x-axis. So how much work, how much quantity of work does our electron gain? 
So, the work done on the electron is equal to negative multiplied by the charge of the electron multiplied by our voltage at that point. So our voltage was calculated in part 1 and this quantity of charge is equal to negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So we multiply our two quantities and we get a positive value. So positive 5.76 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. This is how much work was done on the electron as a result of an electric potential difference. Now finally, let's move on to part 3. In part 3, the work gained by our electron is equal to the kinetic energy. So that basically means work is equal to 1 half m, the mass of our electron, multiplied by v squared. Now we solve for our v and we see that the v is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by the work divided by the mass of the electron. Now the work was calculated in part 2 and the mass of the electron is simply 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. So we multiply, divide, take the square root, and we find that our velocity is about 1.1 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. So this is the maximum velocity of our electron that is reached when our electron is found a distance infinitely far away from our initial position of 50 centimeters from the stationary point charge.